information provided during today's event contains certain forward-looking statements within the meaning of the safe harbor provisions of the Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. These forward-looking statements are based on current expectations, forecasts, and assumptions that involve risks and uncertainties and on information available to Warner Brothers Discovery as of the date hereof. The company's actual results could differ materially from those stated or implied due to risks and uncertainties associated with its business, which include the risk factors disclosed in the company's filings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, including but not limited to the company's most recent annual report on Form 10-K and reports on Form 10-Q and Form 8-K. Forward-looking statements include statements regarding the company's expectations, beliefs, intentions, or strategies regarding the future, and can be identified by forward-looking words such as anticipate, believe, could, continue, estimate, expect, intend, may, should, will, and would, or similar words. Forward-looking statements include, without limitation, statements regarding future financial and operating results, the company's plans, objectives, expectations, and intentions, and other statements that are not historical facts. Warner Brothers Discovery expressly disclaims any obligation or undertaking to disseminate any updates or revisions to any forward-looking statement contained herein to reflect any change in the company's expectations with regards thereto or any change in events, conditions, or circumstances on which any such statement is based. Please welcome the Chief Executive Officer of Warner Brothers Discovery, David Zaslov. Wow, what an exciting day for us. It's really a moment. Um, so first, I want to welcome everyone and thank you all for joining us on this very special day. Uh, and as you just saw, this year marks Warner Brothers' 100th anniversary, a century of storytelling. And we're here in stage 14, which is still a working stage, but it's steeped in history. Over 100 movies were filmed right here including Casablanca, Streetcar Named Desire in 1951, Gremlins in 1990, and we're still working. For those of us who work here on the lot, it's just magic. And in fact, it's really surreal for me, and it's very exciting for me to be, to have this privilege to be on top of this incredible company, this extraordinary company, Warner Brothers Discovery. And to share with all the Warner Brothers Discovery employees the strong sense of pride and obligation that we all feel, standing on the shoulders of the great business leaders that built this Warner Brothers discovery, the Warner Brothers themselves and the great Steve Ross. It really is the stuff that dreams are made of. Last week, we gathered all of our employees around the world to celebrate this 100th anniversary. And I told everyone then this is a real moment for us. And it's not just a moment because it's the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, but it's a moment in time. This is our time. This is our chance. And everything is possible. Everything's a spot. Everything is possible, especially with the media assets, the storytelling IP, and the amazing creative talent that we have here at Warner Brothers Discovery. I feel like for our company, this is our rendezvous with destiny. Last year was a year of coming together, a year of restructuring. And now off we go, all together, to build Warner Brothers Discovery into the next century. And the real question for all of us is what stories are we going to tell? We are all only in these cherished seats for a brief time. What stories are we going to tell that will define our legacy, that we'll look back on years from now and say, we did that. We told those stories. And we want to tell great stories, stories that not only entertain, but also have an impact, an impact on how we see ourselves and how we see the world. And we want to share those stories with the broadest audience possible. And we have a real chance to do that here, here at the greatest storytelling company on Earth. 
and our enhanced streaming service. That's what we're all here for. We're going to talk about it today. It's playing a starring role. And we named it Max. And as you'll see today, Max offers consumers something truly distinct and appealing. Max is the one to watch. It's the one to watch because it's the place every member of the household can go to see exactly what they want at any given time. From House of the Dragon and Succession, to Property Brothers and Barefoot Contessa, from The Joker and Aquaman, to Million Dollar Baby and Elvis. It's the one to watch because we have so many of the world's most iconic and global, global recognized franchises. It's our superpower. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. And for kids, Sesame Street, Hanna-Barbera, Looney Tunes, just to name a few. We're so rich. You're going to hear all about many of those titles in the next hour. But it gives us a huge opportunity as a company. It's a real advantage. It's an advantage in attracting and nourishing consumers around the world. Max is the one to watch because we have the largest TV library in the world. Thousands of shows, including shows that are loved everywhere, like Friends, ER, and Big Bang Theory. And we have a number of the biggest quality makers of content that will feed and grow Max in the years ahead. They're ours. Warner Brothers Pictures, DC Studios, HBO, Warner Brothers Television, our global unscripted portfolio, and multiple animation studios. Warner Brothers TV alone, Channing's business, they're producing right now over 110 shows. Huge hits on every platform. Peacemaker, All American, Abbott Elementary. We could go on and list all of them. Together, these studios allow us to control our own destiny. And they give us long-term business optionality. We are this industry's biggest and most successful maker of content. We are not pickers. We are content makers. Max is the one to watch because it's easy to navigate. Curation is a key element with consumers. And it's an area where we have real strength. It's the one to watch because of the one-of-a-kind storytelling from HBO Max, which drives subscriber acquisition. And the comfort viewing of Discovery Plus, which drives subscriber retention. Holding subs is as important as adding subs. And together, they pack a really powerful one-two punch. And we have two more vibrant parts of our Warner Brothers business that will be key to our long-term streaming strategy going forward. We're a global leader in sports, and we're a global leader in news. And in a few months, we'll come back to you with details of our attack plan to use this important and differentiating live content to grow our streaming business even further. Finally, Max is the one to watch because it's home to shows that have a supersized effect on people and culture. As you saw with The Last of Us, Euphoria, White Lotus, and just last Sunday with Succession. New episodes air weekly, and people everywhere are talking about what they saw. It's streaming's version of must-see TV with huge cultural impact because it's a shared, must-have experience. 
We couldn't be more excited about what we have in store for you today. I think it's going to be a great show. Enjoy it, and I'll see everyone at the end. Thanks again for coming. Thanks, David. So we're launching Max at an exciting moment, and yet a time of transition for the streaming industry. Only 15 or so years into its existence, streaming has reached the fun age of adolescence. The industry's last decade has been explosive, headlined by a subscriber growth at all cost mentality, and a total tsunami of content creation that's streaming literally everywhere. With this deluge, we suddenly find ourselves in the fog of what many people have dubbed the era of peak confusion. And you're right, it's exactly that. Streaming is a teenager. The result is that consumers are overloading. So in this era of peak confusion, we're trying to simplify and improve the experience for consumers, focusing on quality, not just quantity, and as David alluded to earlier, it was a key driver for the rationale of bringing this incredible collection of brands and content together in Warner Brothers Discovery. Third party data confirms what you all are writing about and what we're seeing and what most importantly the customers are experiencing. First, too many services and not enough that meet all my needs. Second, too much content, hard to identify the quality. Third, too hard to discover and find content that's relevant to me. And fourth, too expensive to have so many services. So as we em emerge from the awkward teen years, we will look to address these consumer challenges with Max the one service that has the most complete breadth of stories for any taste or mood. From the biggest superheroes to real life champions, from culture shaping dramas to taste shaping entertainment, from fantastical realms to the realest of worlds, from what's up Dac, to how you doing? <laughs> from old flames to new loves and from world saving young titans to teenage misadventures. We will offer an unrivaled range of choice. The one service that defines quality and has the most iconic franchises. We have more Academy Award winning movies than any other. We have more Emmys than any other streamer. We have more popular series as voted by the fans than any other. Ultimately, Quality, though, is in the eye of each viewer. And we are proud to have brands and content that are genre-defining across all categories. We know that over 80% of TV and streaming viewers watch both scripted and unscripted content. And Max will be the one that continues to set the standard across all genres of entertainment. The one service that aggregates all this content into a single, new and enhanced user experience that invites every member of the family to find and enjoy great entertainment and where great for you is easier to find. And lastly, the one service that provides all this incredible value for one great price. In this sea of streaming services, our potent combination of great value strong user experience, superior quality with iconic franchises, unrivaled breadth. This is what makes us unique. So as David said, this is what makes Max the one to watch. We love this new tagline, this new brand, and yes, this new color. As they signal an important change from two narrower products, HBO Max and Discovery Plus, to the broader content offering and consumer proposition of Max. While each product offered something for some people, Max will have a broad array of quality choices for everybody. 
And we are excited to announce the launch of Max on May 23rd. We want it to be welcoming to all and easily recognizable, including to a key customer segment, kids and families. We all love HBO, and it's a brand that has been built over five decades to be the edgy, groundbreaking, trendsetter in entertainment for adults. But it's not exactly where parents would most eagerly drop off their kids. And yet Warner Brothers Discovery has some of the best known kids, characters, animation, and brands in the industry. Not surprisingly, the category has not met its true potential on HBO Max. We see this as a meaningful new engagement opportunity. Our leading kids brands like Cartoon Network and Boomerang, bolstered by content from DC, Wizarding World, Hanna-Barbera, and Looney Tunes, used to get double-digit shares of the total 2 to 11 linear audience. In streaming, that has virtually disappeared, even though all the great content and franchises are still here. Max will better curate our rich history of amazing animation, seminal children's television, and blockbusters the whole family can enjoy, as well as new product features that will prioritize and enhance the kids' user experience. And yet, while we are focused and excited about where we're going, we also want to honor and embrace where we've come from. And a critical part of that is preserving and protecting the most iconic trailblazing brand in entertainment. HBO is not TV. HBO is HBO. It needs to stay that way, which is why we will privilege it in the product experience and also not push it to the breaking point by forcing it to take on the full breadth of this new content proposition had we kept the name in the service brand. And by doing so, we'll better elevate and showcase our unparalleled array of other content and brands that will be key to broadening the appeal of this enhanced product. Max is where consumers can finally say, here's a service that not only has something for everybody in my household, but something great for everybody in my household. I'll be back in a bit to take you through our enhanced product and user experience and the go-to-market approach for the US. But we all know the product is nothing without the content. And nobody knows great content better than the best partner on this streaming journey, Casey Blois. Thank you, JB. Good morning, everybody. So as you will see, the Max service is a wide-ranging mosaic of content that will be unmatched in the breadth, reach, and excellence of its offerings. We are unique because we have the best in category across the board, be it ratings, awards, or fandom. When you want to laugh, we have the greatest collection of fan favorites from comedy giants. For pure escapism, we have the most iconic franchises in food, home, adventure, and reality, all driven by engrossing characters. When it's time for a provocative story, we have the best in documentary, paranormal, horror, and true crime. For the whole household, we have treasured films, timeless animation, inspirational nature, and family focus unscripted. When you want to step inside another culture, we have remarkable international stories from around the world. And for those immersive, culture-shaping series that create water cooler buzz, we have unparalleled drama. Together, they create the one destination where any interest or mood or taste can be fulfilled. We know we can satisfy any craving because we have the must-have brands and franchises that people love. At max, they will find what they want when they want it. This means we're not a giant, undifferentiated blob of programming. We don't have to take the time to try to create signature brands and characters to identify our shows because we already have them, and we've had them for years. And they're a beloved source of thousands of hours of entertainment allowing us to entertain Max subscribers with an average of more than 40 new titles and seasons every month. So how do we carry this forward? Let me start with Max Originals. First, the DC Universe. After a fantastic experience with James Gunn and Peter Safran on Peacemaker, we are energized about the ambitious plan they laid out a couple of months ago. A 
teamed up with them again to give audiences new stories to explore in the five series they announced. And we are really excited to be a part of their extraordinary vision for a unified DC that will travel across both film and television. But first, we have a fresh Max original series born out of Matt Reeves' Batman universe. The Penguin, written by Lauren LaFranc and directed by Craig Zobel, stars Colin Farrell as he takes to the shadowy streets of Gotham City to reprise his memorable role in The Batman. We have just started production, and here is a very early first look. This, this is one of those moments. You gotta ask yourself, what kind of life do I want? The world ain't built for guys like us. That's why we gotta take whatever we decide as ours. It's Carmine Falco's right hand. Try to push me out. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. You ain't seen what I can do. Step out of line, even once. I'll gut you like a goddamn fish. Can you imagine the people saying my name in the streets after you're gone? That would mean something. <laughs> the new King Pentagotham. In addition to DC, Max Originals will look to take advantage of other Warner Brothers Discovery IP. We found strong success when we returned to the world of Sex and the City for a new look at iconic characters in the updated and just like that. Max Originals will continue to explore new stories and familiar universes that satisfy a diverse palette, making Max the only one to watch if you want to dive into our IP. Like when we pull people to the edge of their seats and return to the town of Derry, Maine, as we explore the prequel origin story to Stephen King's It from Andy and Barbara Muschietti with Welcome to Derry. And horror fans are sure to be thrilled as we're announcing today that we are in series development for a fresh take on the scary, ever popular The Conjuring, based on the films from New Line with James Wan and Peter Safran on board as executive producers. And we have a comedy from a familiar world in development as well. We are announcing today that a new story derived from the Big Bang Theory is in, works, uh, is in the works from executive producer Chuck Lorre. Great entertainment born from iconic IP creatively. It's exciting. Logically, it makes a ton of sense. Max Originals will also continue with broad, well-told original stories. Great shows like The Flight Attendant, Hacks, and The Sex Lives of College Girls are prime examples. We have a new original series currently in production, How to Be a Bookie from executive producer Chuck Lorre and Nick Bakai, Sebastian Manisca Maniscalco, sorry, <laughs> I practiced that. Sebastian Maniscalco stars as a veteran bookie struggling to survive the impending legalization of sports gambling. Here's a very early look. I got to do a toast to a shitty day that turned into a really great day. I got you minus 12 grand. You shouldn't bet on sports. All retail operators factor in losses. It's called shrinkage. Look it up. I'll tell you what's shrinking. We're all thinking it. The days of breaking legs are over. I'm not going to do anything to put the cops on my ass. Does this thing have HBO? Basic cable. How am I supposed to see all that dragon shit? I know. We will also continue to dive into real life stories. Several projects that were initially developed for Discovery Plus will now be Max Originals. We'll take an intimate look into the journey of one of the 21st century's most influential athletes in one final leap for Olympic glory with Sean White, The Last Run. We will go on a personal odyssey with Robert Downey Jr. as he takes the fight to climate change in his own driveway. The Megastar documents converting his prized collection of classic sports and muscle cars into eco-friendly automobiles for the 21st century in Downey's dream cars. 
And we will, we will invite fans to join Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes as they crisscross the country for live performances of their podcast, Smartless on the Road. Here's a first look. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, this is the Maxell tape guy, right? No, this is Thomas Jefferson. Oh. <laughs> You're telling me there's going to be someone in every one of those seats? We've made a huge mistake. I'm nervous. You know what we have to say? Uh oh. Welcome to, to Smartland! It started with just the three of us talking to one another. It's shocking how little both of you know about anything. <laughs> now we're going to go live on tour. Please welcome Mr. David Letterman. Nothing else. Kevin Hart. Is there a dress code? You said <laughs> tuxedos and cool sunglasses. We went to Boston. Hello, hello. New York. I will watch with my husband. I'm gay, Dave. Chicago. DC. Where's the grassy knoll where JFK got assassinated? That's in Dallas, you stupid dick. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> You guys ordered food? Did you want a second lunch? I see an order here for braised short ribs. You don't have any chest paddles down there, do you? <laughs> no. I want you guys to lower your expectations because I've been drinking. <laughs> I couldn't believe how little you guys were. <laughs> well, uh -oh. No. I don't think I'm, I, I don't, we're not halfway done with the flight and I don't think I can do any more with him. Do you have any tattoos? Wouldn't that be kind of fun to get a smartless one? Not really. All right, you wanna think about it? Nope, okay. just did. <laughs> Another powerful brand in our arsenal, Magnolia Network, will, fig will also figure prominently in our overall programming strategy. The reach of Magnolia is among the strongest we've seen as its latest series, Fixer Upper, The Castle, was a top five show within its first few days on HBO Max and has remained a top performer since. So Max will feature a collection of original series, including the complete Fixer Upper library. Today, we're excited to announce an all new installment of, in the revered Fixer Upper franchise. Here are Chip and Joanna Gaines to share the details. Hey everyone, we are excited we finally get to share some news with you. Share the news. What? Hold on one okay, second. Yeah, okay. Y'all, we're gonna have a hotel in downtown Waco, Texas. What? Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Wow. When you think about a 50,000 square foot hotel remodel, I mean, this is the big leagues. Okay. This is what you dream about. And I think Joe and I are out of our element to some extent, but I think we're up for the challenge. Uh, this is exciting. Right? Boom. Yes, I love it. Strangers in the night. So we've got some work to do. Exchanging clothes. And we do. Love and we'll keep you posted. Moving off of Max Originals, theatricals have always been a significant part of our offering. Mike and Pam are busy building out their slate at Warner Brothers Pictures and New Line. Max continues to be the proud streaming home of their first-run movies as well as DC films. This will be in the range of 20 movies a year. Films coming out of theaters are huge engagement drivers. Big theatrical marketing campaigns around these movies create significant awareness that benefits Max. Just a few of the fantastic films on this year's slate are The Flash, Barbie, Dune 2, and Blue Beetle. Shazam! Fury of the Gods will be on the platform the day of launch, and The Flash will land on the service in the fall after its exclusive run in theaters this June. Today, we are lucky enough to get a very early look at what James Gunn has said is one of the best superhero movies he's ever seen. Here's The Flash. I can't imagine what you've been through. You lost both parents in one day. I could make it right if I could just go back and save them. You could also destroy everything. What did you do? Want some help? The Flash. 
Across all of our beloved brands, Max is the one source for quality content that fits any craving. We meet every member of a household exactly where they are when they log on, making this service the one to watch. I'll be back in a bit to talk about more new programming, but first, a key to our success will be the robust offerings from our portfolio of networks. Here's the architect of those iconic brands, as well as our kids' content, Kathleen Finch. Well, Casey is exactly right when he says that brands are fundamental to our success. We have some of the biggest brands in television. Food Network, HGTV, Discovery, ID, TBS, TNT, TLC, Adult Swim, OWN, and more. Our brands are the ones to watch for genre-specific content that satisfies viewers' passion for food, home, relationships, real-life adventure, true crime, and animation for all ages. Our fans know exactly where to go for the content they love. Collectively, our network brands deliver more than 87 million total viewers a week. Max will have access to an amazing library and a curated bank of popular, proven, original content, giving audiences even more entertainment options. Our most valuable franchises will live inside Max from day one. And as a content engine for the service, our brands will continue to deliver even more original content for passionate fans. No one is better at creating an entire universe of related titles to keep audiences engaged from season to season, no matter the platform. Take 90 Day Fiancé. It's a smash hit franchise with two dozen spin-offs. It's filmed in 51 countries and broadcast in 39 languages. And now, that team brings us a new series about romance across the borders with love and translation. Let's have a look. I believe in true love. A love at first sight with a beautiful stranger. Wie man im Leben erfolgreich wird. What? <laughs> I really wish I knew what you were saying right now. 12 women from around the world. And three American bachelors are looking for their soulmate with one huge twist. Zero English? Zero Francais. Damn, this is crazy. Don't could I? Don't could I? The women don't speak English. Tonight, let's do this right. Let's go to yeah! Will they be able to make a connection without the use of language? Does love really have no boundaries? We are gonna put that to the test. Love and translation. You've already seen how we continue to reinvent innovative franchises like Shark Week, Puppy Bowl, Ghost Adventures, Hometown, Impractical Jokers, Deadliest Catch, Gold Rush, Street Outlaws, and many more to grow their already massive viewership and engagement on multiple platforms. Some of our iconic stars, like Guy Fieri and the Property Brothers, have even become their own franchises within our brands. And we've showcased familiar faces like Oprah Winfrey, Ina Garten, Christina and Tarek, Big Bird, Bobby Flay, the list is long. All these and more will be found on Max. In addition, our unscripted teams are finalizing a slate of brand new titles. Chow House takes us to one of the culinary capitals of the world, Tuscany, for a unique food competition series. Here's a quick look. Welcome to Tuscany! You're going to be living together as a loving family, but you're going to be competing against each other. Is going home an option? You think I'd have flown all the way out here if it was? Train with Italian master chefs throughout Italy. Oh my God. Whichever team loses this challenge has to decide who to send home. What? Ciao, Hans. On a very different note, we're excited to bring audiences Survive the Raft. Equal parts social experiment and survival epic, it answers the fundamental question of human nature. 
What happens when nine people try to survive together while stranded at sea? True Crime has a new voice as actor and executive producer Octavia Spencer will examine the shocking crimes that happened on a desolate stretch of an Oregon highway in Lost Women of Highway 20. And passionate animation fans will explore new interdimensional realities with our upcoming series, Rick and Morty, the Anime. Also, in partnership with Warner Brothers Pictures and the Barbie movie, we have the newly created HGTV series, Barbie Dreamhouse Challenge, hosted by supermodel and social media influencer Ashley Graham. The upcoming series features 15 of HGTV's top talent, plus other stars from sister networks, to create a real-life Barbie dream house for one lucky fan. Here's a first look. The world got its groove back when HGTV brought the Brady Bunch house to life. Now, the time has come for the biggest, boldest, most Barbiest build of all playtime. Hello there, team. How do you like my ride? A real life-sized Barbie dream house. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. Ashley Graham, alongside the largest HGTV team ever assembled, give this home the ultimate Barbie makeover. Just in time for the blockbuster movie. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Get ready for the renovation event you never knew you needed. <laughs> Did you think you were Barbie? You look incredible. Sure, I mean, yeah. Barbie Dreamhouse Challenge. You ready for this? Woo, chair. I hope the neighbors don't mind. This type of new collaborative thinking around maximizing IP shows how we can use our size and our properties in unique ways. We have many more of these innovative content partnerships in the works, and we'll use our reach and creativity to drive attention for Max. As JB mentioned, our deep library of family and children's programming featuring favorite franchises like Looney Tunes, Hanna-Barbera, Sesame Street, as well as feature films and revered brands like Cartoon Network means we have a huge vault of quality entertainment for kids and families to explore in Max. Joining this amazing collection are three new series from a legendary group of creators. First, inspired by the world of Looney Tunes, Tiny Toons Looniversity, coming this fall, is a reboot of the Emmy Award-winning favorite Tiny Toon Adventures, ready for a new generation of children and families. Rock legend Bono brings us a retelling of the classic Peter and the Wolf, which he and his best childhood friend, songwriter Gavin Friday, have been working on for 20 years with original art and music by Bono. And from Steven Spielberg's Amblin Television, get ready for the world premiere of the highly anticipated prequel animated series, Gremlins, Secrets of the Mogwai. Here's a sneak peek. You need to discover the world's mysteries. Magic is all around us. There's no such thing. Gather round. I bring you a creature only whispered about in myth and legend. It can't be. <gasps> that is a mogwai. They might look cute. Uthma. Hi, Gizmo. I'm Sam. But this species is wildly dangerous. Is that true? How dangerous can they be? <laughs> Nobody else has concerns. You must return him to his home. I'm coming with you. Look at you. He would do anything to get these mogwai. Go get him, Sam. That creature will be mine. Come get us! Yes! You know Kung Fu? This is just a snapshot of how our dynamic brands will provide an incredible array of quality content that appeals to the entire household, all available on Max. Thank you for your time, and I'd like to welcome Casey back.
Thank you, Kathleen. Now, our streaming service may have a new name, but HBO has not and is not changing course at all. Whether it be drama, comedy, documentaries, or late night and specials, the programming teams are led by creative executives that I've had the honor of working with for going on 20 years. And they continue to deliver some of, those, some of the most thought-provoking, enjoyable, and award-winning shows around. Late night series, which include favorites like Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, and Real Time with Bill Maher drive current conversation. HBO specials feature young, fresh voices like John Early in his first solo comedy event, or returning comedic stars like Sarah Silverman. We have a whole new slate of captivating HBO original documentaries, such as Love to Love You, Donna Summer, which takes a deeply personal look at the artist who became the defining soundtrack of an era. Season two of 100 Foot Wave, as surfing legend Garrett McNamara returns to Portugal with some surprising newcomers and continues to push the boundaries of his sport. And Being Mary Tyler Moore, a revealing look at the trailblazing career and private life of actress Mary Tyler Moore. And with shows like Barry, Somebody Somewhere, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and A Black Lady Sketch Show, HBO hits every laugh with the most compelling original comedy series around. When it comes to drama, the same programming team that brought audiences House of the Dragon, The White Lotus, The Last of Us, and Succession is greenlighting new stories that will spark conversation and push boundaries. We're very excited about what's coming, starting with the next installment of the genre-bending franchise, True Detective. With writer-director Issa Lopez at the helm, True Detective Night Country stars Jodie Foster as she unearths a new mystery in dark, icy terrain. Acclaimed director Stephen Frears joins forces with Kate Winslet to tell the story of the unraveling of an authoritarian regime from the inside out in the limited series, The Regime and a powerful adaptation of the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Sympathizer, a satirical thriller about a communist spy during the final days of the Vietnam War. It's coming from director Park Chan-wook and producer and co-star Robert Downey Jr. I'd like to give you all a first look at these three new worlds. Some people come to Alaska to escape, get away from something. Sometimes they come here looking for something. Sometimes they find it. I'm working on this case. These men disappeared 48 hours ago. It was the last sunset before the long night. Theory is they went out to watch it. It was a weather event. Now, I'm treating this like a murder case. How scared do you have to be to run out in the ice without any shoes? Hey, this is a crime scene. No more fucking around. You think I want to work with you? Take a look in the mirror. No one can stand you. I'm just going to do this one thing. Work together to close this case. And that's it for the two of us. Yes, it is. You don't really think we're going to find them, do you? Maybe they want to believe some miracles. We ain't got shit. We don't have anything. You sure you're up for this? It's the third day of dark and it's already getting weird. This is Ennis. Some questions just don't have answers. The night country. It takes us one by one. It's crazy the shit we survive. Welcome. Lovely to meet you, Madam Chancellor. Good. Love this kingfisher blue. Or try not to get blood on it. So, busy time then. For your president, seeing as he couldn't make it. I assure you, this is a priority for the president. We don't want to undermine your authority in the region. We want to enhance it. Mm -hmm. We see you as a true visionary. My people need to be respected. And they will be. 
But first, we need you to demonstrate credibility to us. Trustworthiness. All we are doing is realizing our dream. Our dream of a new Europe. Without limits. I do apologize to you. Not to me, you hog. Apologize to my people. Without cruelty. <gasps> fucking stinking cunt. There are times when one must choose the hardest road. Fuck them all! I've chosen that road. And I have done so in the name of liberty. Okay, sure, if you like. I do like. So did you kill anyone? With my own hands? No. No, I never killed anyone. We were all marching. We were on your side. Really? And which side was that? Uh, side of the Vietnamese people. The people in the north or the people in the south? Well, all of them, I guess. <laughs> guess we all look the same after all, right? I mean, I could be Viet Cong for all you know. The spy. How would you know? <laughs> I'm not, of course. I love America. Here in America, we welcome people like you. Are you sure you guys are refugees? What if I told you that I was a communist? Undercover. Welcome to the world of spycraft. We sent you to America so you could be our mole. But what happens to a mole? when it is suddenly thrust into the sun. This is counterintelligence. It gets wet down here. What are you concealing? I don't know if I can go on like this. Đây là một nhiệm vụ tự sát. Cuộc đời là một nhiệm vụ tự sát. How about this? You work for me while pretending to work for them. You're a spy and a counter spy at the same time. You're a spy, right? Well, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Look at you all serious, man. You'd be a terrible spy. So as you can see, HBO remains HBO. And all these great shows will be available on the Mac service, the streaming home of HBO. I'd now like to welcome JB back to talk about how the service and experience will play out for the user. JB? Thanks, Casey and Kathleen. And so now, let's talk about where all this incredible programming is gonna live. As we started this journey 12 months ago, we did a thorough assessment of our two streaming businesses, as well as the technology and products of each. And we realized that while both were solid, they also each had important shortcomings. In summary, we needed to do the basics much better. And if we got this far with some suboptimal features and experiences, imagine what we will do when we get more of it right. So let's jump into the product. And I want to focus on four key areas of improvement for our customers and our business. First. And our most important metric, we need to drive more engagement, more regular viewership through easier and more personalized discovery of all the content richness that exists on the service, which will make the experience much more enjoyable for our customers. Of course, the biggest ingredient to improving this will be the incredible quality and expanded breadth of content you just heard about from Casey and Kathleen. But we also see product experience as playing a big part in this too. 
HBO Max has an amazing depth of content, but it's largely unexplored because we don't make it easy enough to find. A few stats. For example, on HBO Max, three quarters of the viewership comes from the home screen only. By comparison on Discovery Plus, the majority of usage comes from other screens deeper in the app. Furthermore, four times as much content drives the majority of viewership on Discovery Plus than on HBO Max. Simply put, people find and enjoy a ton more content on Discovery Plus, and so with Max, we've leveraged all we've learned to improve circulation and content discovery and enable users to enjoy much more of our amazing array of stories. This starts with these big cinematic and immersive hero images with inline video and a simpler transparent user interface that always puts the content first. A new content navigation menu at the top makes it easier to find series, movies, what's new, and HBO, consistent with what I said earlier about privileging that brand and content. We'll also more prominently feature our top brands that serve as another clear, curated way for customers to find the content they love, as well as genre hubs. We've added a new brand, a brand new quick shortcut to save content to watch later. And for the first time, the entire service will have differentiated and high-performing personalized experiences, including elements such as because you watched recommendations and immersive hero images tailored for each user. We've significantly increased our investment and focus on machine learning, while still integrating an editorial voice to deliver a human plus machine approach that as more and more usage happens in the service, will help us get better and better at servicing the right content that's best for you. And nothing says doing the basics better, like finally, having personalized recommendations as to what to watch next when you finish a movie or series, for the first time, available on every platform. And we'll now have a default kids profile set up automatically for new subscribers that's easy to use and makes it simpler for parents to tailor how their kids use Macs, including parental controls. Second, we need to enhance retention and reduce churn. And again, our expanded content offering and the engagement improvements I just outlined will be the most impactful way to improve voluntary churn. But the other half of our churn in the US is involuntary, meaning people aren't choosing to cancel. It's that their card has expired, they're in sufficient funds on that day, or some other billing complication. Today, HBO Max is very limited in our tools and ability to proactively message and manage this with our customers. With Max, we'll finally be able to alert customers by sending failed payment notifications via multiple on and off product messages, including for the first time in-app messages on connected TVs where we see the vast majority of our usage. We launched recently PayPal. We'll leverage that as a new payment method for the service and more sophisticated retry logic for when to best attempt billing. Third, our core architecture needed to deliver faster, more reliable, and more efficient performance. And a few examples of what I mean by that. We've simplified the connected TV sign-in process by developing two brand new features so users don't have to waste time using their remote to type in their credentials. We rebuilt the downloads feature so it's dependable and works consistently. And we maniacally focused on app performance to get our customers watching their content as fast as possible. So app start times, video start times, and the general navigation response times will be 20 to 30% faster depending on which device you're using. And fourth, we needed much more dynamic tools to optimize monetization. Our marketing team can now make pricing or promotional changes in a day through a self-service interface, as opposed to what would have taken several weeks of engineering work each time in HBO Max today. And for our ad light offering, we will launch with a full suite of ad products that provide reach, reward, and interactivity to our viewers. Built on a lot of our own tech stack that allows us to quickly iterate in this dynamic space. 
Max will provide innovative ad products to marketers with access to the most premium brand and content in the video industry, while also rewarding our customers with one of the lightest ad loads in streaming. You'll hear more, much more about this at our upfront in May. Our incredible team has been hard at work taking the best of both legacy platforms to deliver a technology stack and product that works much better. And this is only version one. We have a packed roadmap, product and tech roadmap, that will help us do even more with regular iterations and new releases. All these enhancements will deliver a stronger experience for our customers and kick off the beginning of a very productive flywheel. More engagement drives better retention, which reduces churn, improves customer satisfaction, all of which will ultimately help us continue to scale our subscribers. Two more things related to the product that are important to spend a minute on. First, on May 23rd, the HBO Max app will automatically update to the new Max app for a large portion of our users. Due to the requirements of certain platforms, though, another segment of our users will be prompted when they open HBO Max to download the new Max app. And with only two clicks, they can start watching again. Regardless of migration pattern, all HBO Max subscribers' usernames and passwords will carry over automatically, and their profiles, watch histories, watch rails, and billing will be seamlessly transitioned. Second, Discovery Plus subscribers will be unaffected by any of these changes. And while we will offer them various opportunities to try out Max, we will also continue to nourish and delight them on Discovery Plus, if that's where they prefer to stay. As we said before, Discovery Plus has maintained a sizable and engaged user base and is a profitable streaming service. So we don't want to leave any profitable subscribers behind. And now, how much for all this goodness? Unrivaled breadth, superior quality with iconic franchises, stronger user experience, and all that for the same price. It's great value. Max Ad Lite will remain $9.99, and Max Ad Free will remain $15.99. New customers signing up for Max on these plans will get HD quality, two concurrent streams, and for the ad-free subscribers, 30 downloads. And we're introducing a new ultimate plan for $19.99 that will provide consumers the highest quality 4K video, HDR with Atmos, four concurrent streams, and 100 downloads. Existing monthly subscribers will still have access to their current plan features for at least six months, at which point they will then be able to choose to move to the ultimate plan if they want those additional features. These are our plans for the US, and we'll update you further as we roll out in the rest of the world later this year and into next. Remember, this is just a beginning. Our global rollout timeline remains consistent with what we told you last August. We still have over half of the global streaming universe to go after. The financial and subscriber goals we provided last summer also remain unchanged including, as David mentioned earlier, our priority focus on profitability versus just scale. So, one last time. Unrivaled breadth, superior quality with iconic franchises, stronger user experience, and great value. We cannot wait to have you and all our existing and new customers enjoy this amazing offering starting May 23rd. And I'm excited to tell you about our campaign to launch Max. The campaign embraces the idea that while we all have different sides and different moods, we all want the best. It kicks off with an announcement phase tomorrow and will run into mid-May when we transition to a launch phase. We'll have our biggest marketing campaign ever across all types of media, ramping up as we get closer to launch date. And we'll take full advantage of the unique reach of the Warner Brothers Discovery portfolio. We'll harness the power of our six top 10 cable brands, 
and our portfolio that reaches more than 30% of the viewing audience on any given night. We'll leverage our arsenal of digital outlets that reach almost 70% of the internet population in the US thanks to powerhouses like Bleacher Report and CNN.com. And we not only have the best content and franchises as differentiators, but we have the best marketing platforms to promote Max and some of the best talent to help tell our story. Take a look. I find it funny when people think they can define me. Because I'm more than just one me. Do you like this? And so are you. Because you aren't just one you. There are many sides to you. I'm gonna show you what the real Elvis is like tonight! That's what makes you, you. The one who's inspired by those that never give up. We are playing to win! And the one who wants to escape after one of those days. There's the one who sobs at happily ever after. I think you're beautiful. There's the one that lives for drama. We're gonna be brave, and we're gonna get out of this. And the one whose favorite laughs are those that bring us together. Hey, friends! Hey, friends! There are many sides to you, and they all deserve the best. Introducing Max, the one to watch. Streaming May 23rd. So we really appreciate all of you being with us today, and we couldn't be more excited about bringing, finally getting going on May 23rd. But we aren't quite done yet. I want to bring Casey back to share a couple very exciting final announcements. Casey? Thank you, JB. OK. So 10 years ago, HBO first aired a series that became a beloved phenomenon. Game of Thrones is among the most awarded drama series in television history, winning 59 Emmys and still stands as HBO's most viewed program ever. We then returned to the land of Westeros and House of the Dragon debuted to the largest audience for any new original series in the history of HBO. That fandom only continued to grow, all told, House of the Dragon episodes are averaging nearly 30 million viewers, and the Golden Globe winner just started production on season two. Fans of the franchise will be thrilled to hear that we are announcing today that HBO has another story coming from George R.R. Martin's iconic universe. We are moving straight to series with a Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight, executive produced by George R.R. Martin, Ira Parker, and Ryan Condal. A century before the events of Game of Thrones, two unlikely heroes wandered Westeros. A young, naive, but courageous knight, Sir Duncan the Tall, and his diminutive squire, Egg. We can't wait to share this story with you and the world. And we're not done there. For Max Originals, we're unbelievably excited to announce our return to the biggest entertainment franchise of the last 25 years. Over the course of the next decade, David wanted me to make sure you heard me say next decade, 10 years, we will once again enter the wondrous world of Harry Potter as a multi-season live action series for the first time. With a new cast playing the original, the original beloved characters over the next 10 years, we truly have the time to tell more in-depth stories in ways the world has never seen before. This new series will take shape as a faithful adaptation of all seven original books and will stand alongside the iconic films to an entirely new generation of Harry Potter fans. We're so excited to enter this rich universe and explore its incredible characters in a series format. With J.K. Rowling serving as an executive producer, we do so with the full craft and care that is the hallmark of this franchise and our amazing team at Max and Warner Brothers Television. The Harry Potter and Wizarding World universe is uniquely global, reaching every language and shows no sign of slowing down for billions of dedicated fans around the world. We couldn't be more thrilled for this next chapter. Now, here's David to close us out. Well, uh, seeing those seven Harry Potter books, having read those with uh, my wife and I read to each of our three kids, it was the first book they each read it's, uh, it's really moving. And the idea that for 10 consecutive years, people will see 
Harry Potter on HBO. I mean, it's really, uh, it's something. Uh, so, uh, a big thanks to Casey and JB and Kathleen, who did a really uh, fantastic job, to the whole team here at Warner Brothers that spent the, the last month really trying to put forward our presentation. But you could see it. We're a content company. This is who we are. This is what we do. We tell stories. You saw some of it today, but there's a lot of companies that are in a lot of businesses. This is the only business that we're in. We're going to drive free cash flow, and we're going to invest in great stories. So, and as the world's premier pure storytelling company, I think we have a very clear sense of who we are and where we're going. We're on a mission. We're on a mission to be the one to watch. And as you've seen today in Max, we've got the goods. And we're going to keep producing and keep telling stories to delight audiences around the world so that they believe and they tell all their friends, Max, the one to watch. So buckle your seatbelts. Get ready for May 23rd. It's going to be a fun ride. Uh, off we go. Thanks again for coming. Really appreciate it. <laughs>